Hi and welcome to my soul tribe, my name is Miriam Rose. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe, set your bell on, like, comment and share, as I really appreciate all of your support. Today's video is a channeling by Gaia, so I hope you enjoy it. Now let's get on with the video. Dear friends, I am the Earth. I speak to you from the depth beneath your feet. I too have a heart chakra, a center, and you can envision this heart center to be in the middle of my physical body, the planet. Travel there in your mind, descend down into the earth, into my center, and make an energetic conscious connection with it, because at its core, my heart is not primarily material, but spiritual. Just as your hearts are part of your soul, your God self, my heart is also not only physical, it is part of my soul. Feel my heart, feel my love for life. I enjoy everything in life that buds, goes through life process, grows and finally passes away physically. Life is a grand dance and that dance is elegant and beautiful. In this dance is harmony and logic. Each one of you is meant to dance. Although sometimes the movements you make are uncomfortable or painful, but not everything that has a blocking effect comes from outside of you. You also have a history. You are older than this current physical life. You carry a legacy with you. Your soul has a depth that you still do not comprehend. So much remains hidden from you of the grandeur and mystery of your soul. Thus, you cannot know everything, but you can surrender and give yourself over to the movement of your soul. Your soul sometimes wants you to deal with negativity that comes both from without and within. They might still reside in your old baggage consisting of emotional pain, misunderstanding, confusion that your soul intends should come to the forefront in this lifetime. And these encounters may go against your personal desire or light and for a productive, pleasant and enjoyable life. The purpose of encountering negativity cannot be comprehended by the earthly personality or by the mind or so it seems, because that purpose is difficult to understand in that way. Therefore you are asked to open to a deep level of surrender in order to come to terms with that negativity. And I ask you to do this now. I encourage you to feel that negativity from the perspective of my heart, my center. I see much pain and suffering in and on the earth, yet there is part of me that is not affected by that suffering. There is this part of me that simply witnesses it with a gentleness and deep acceptance which understands that there is a logic in everything that happens. Without asking you to grasp this logic, with your mind I encourage you to feel the energy of my heart center. Feel that this energy also creates a space for the suffering and for all that is dark and seems incomprehensible. I'm very deeply involved with you and I do not dismiss the suffering of humanity, as well as that of the animals, the plants and rocks. Everything that lives on earth is sensitive to vibration, to energy. Fear, distrust, hatred, loneliness are vibrations that deeply affect me and all life, yet there is something in me that transcends these vibrations. I am your mother. By connecting with that part in me, which looks with compassionate suffering and grief, you strengthen that part of me and of yourself, and then literally begin to channel to become a conduit. Your heart opens to the large flow of compassion that exists in the universe. Not only my compassion but also that of many other beings. If you are a part of that compassionate stream, you stay connected with it. You do not turn away from what there is on earth, the light and the dark. You do not try to flee from what is here, and your heart remains open. That is your deepest, your greatest gift, remaining here, being present, and not judging, but making your heart ever more open and expanded, so that you can understand why people, and why you as well, do things that go against life. A consciousness that can understand this, and hold on to this understanding, can break down barriers, and remove blockages, solely by way of compassion, by way of a deeply felt empathy. Doing this makes you strong and make no mistake. Love is a strong force. Being open to negativity, to pain and suffering,
suffering does not mean that you drown in it. It is the power of love that allows it to keep its distance and to rise above the suffering, yet love's wings always touch the earth and other people. I ask of you that you become an angel on earth, and I know you can be that. Every living being on earth is working to complete its own dance, one that is perfectly suited to their unique nature, and you have your own particular dance. For you, there is always the next step that suits your life and is in line with who you are now. Feel that for a moment. Are you willing to take this step even if you do not know what it is that is asked of you? Are you ready to take the next step to opening your heart and to healing the old pain? You do not need to know how that will happen. You do not need to be able to fathom the depth of your soul in order to take that next step. It comes through trust. Feel that it is good to do so. That is what I ask of you, not to save the world, but to take that one step, your next step. That is what fits right in with the rhythm and the path of development of the earth as a whole, with this whole sphere of being. We do it together. If each individual being completes their dance, then doing that brings the greatest gift to the whole. For this reason, it is extremely important that you know yourself, not to stare blindly toward what you should be or what you would like to be, but at who you actually are, here and now, at what goes on inside you, at the emotions you experience most often, the sadness you have, or your greatest desires, visions and beautiful feelings. If you go deep down into yourself with an open heart and an open mind, you're going to become aware of the dance within you, which is not a dance you have created, but the dance your soul has created for you, then you will be more attuned to your dance which need not be perfect. You are here to learn how to attune to it, so keep things simple. All you need to do is to know the signals in your body that come from your soul through your thoughts and your emotions by silently looking at what is taking place within you. At your thoughts and emotions, you will penetrate deeper into your core and discover what gives you the most joy. Joy is the simple answer to a lot of questions you all have. When you are struggling with a question, for example, should I do this or that, or do I need to hold back? Ask yourself instead, does it give me joy? Does it increase joy in me? The natural dance of life is born out of joy. Think of a ballet dancer. Ultimately, the source of her passion is joy. Dancing gives her joy and satisfaction. It fulfills her soul. However, she also has to learn to overcome pain by exercising her muscles and practicing awkward movements. The training of her body. The pain does not conflict with the joy. It is something she is willing to endure because she is focused on her goal of expressing herself perfectly through the dance. When you stay in touch with joy, you connect with your essence and the reason for all kinds of worries in your life. You begin to sense if something is part of your goal and is worth doing even if it gives you pain, or if there are things you would prefer to avoid because they do not contribute to your life's purpose, dare to ask yourself the question, can I live for joy? May joy be my guide. I greet you all from my heart, from my soul. I respect you, whatever your path in life. I ask you to take my hand so we can dance together. There is a flow in me and you, in all life that connects everything on earth. Feel that flow, how open it is. You are welcome on earth. I love you. What a lovely channeling. And if you enjoy celebrity news, please visit my other channel called Miriam Rose. With absolute gratitude, love and light, cosmic kisses to everyone. Till next time, bye for now.